Now, We 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Carson Meredith with 31 Triple Down. Carson, I know I should be focused on what's happening today, but yes. I just keep thinking about the 80s that are coming mm -hmm. up next Love week. Love that. <laughs> yeah. And we're talking about the temperatures. So. Yes. Not the music. <laughs> and that actual word fall yeah. having some impact behind it. Yeah, right. so the temperatures definitely will still have that fall feel, yeah. but here's the problem. We've got rain chances returning today mm -hmm. and tomorrow, and it'll be more like those summer pop-ups. Mm -hmm. There we go. Then we got to dodge. Let's go to the sky cams on this Friday morning. Looks like a bug is hanging out on our Decatur sky cab, but otherwise it is mostly cloudy wherever you are. Temperatures not not too bad. 64 here in the Metro indicator. We're checking at 64 as well. 60 on the dot in the shoals where you see a little more clear sky compared to most in Guntersville. We've got more clouds at 66. 31 triple Doppler is quiet. About 30 minutes ago, we were still watching this downpour in Etowah, Cherokee County. It's still trying to sneak into DeKalb County. So if you're down near Collinsville along I-59, you might have a quick little downpour over the next 10 to 15 minutes. Everybody else is dry and I expect most of us to stay dry at least through lunch past two o'clock this afternoon as we start to warm things up a little bit. We're going to see more of those scattered showers pop up. I expect more showers than storms today, but I can't rule out a few rumbles of thunder here and there. Bottom line, grab the umbrellas you head out the door this morning and keep an eye of the skies, especially this afternoon. Part of the reason why the storm chances are going up. The humidity is going up. Yesterday, our muggy meter was in that dry or pleasant range. It felt like fall. Now it's a little bit humid. It's not air you can wear, but you definitely notice that moisture in the air. That's going to set the stage for the storm chances today and especially on Saturday. For big game Friday night, I can't rot a couple of storms, maybe delaying kickoff in a few spots later on this evening. But eventually these storms will fizzle out to just a few showers and we can get those games going. Kickoff temperatures will be in the upper 70s and will drop into the mid 70s by the fourth quarter tonight. Looking ahead to this weekend, temperatures still holding steady in the mid 80s, but Saturday will feature more storms than what we're seeing today. And some of those storms Saturday afternoon could pack a punch mainly with heavy rain, but I also can't rule out some gusty winds with a few stronger storms tomorrow afternoon. For this afternoon, you see a few of those spotty showers on future radar over Sand Mountain by 2 o'clock this afternoon, but I would expect a few more of those showers to pop up in random places through about 6 or 7 tonight. Any storms that are around this evening will start to fizzle out. We'll keep a small chance for an isolated shower overnight tonight. And throughout the day tomorrow, as early as sunrise, going through the afternoon and going through the evening, yeah, you see those hit and miss storms are around. Primary concerns, as we mentioned, heavy rain and gusty winds. There will be some dry time, but you still got to watch the skies. You're out and about tomorrow. Eventually, a cold front will move through Saturday night, early Sunday, pushing all of the rain to our east. Temperatures are going to hold steady for at least the next 10 days, but beyond that, we may get one last taste of summer. The temperature outlook across most of the eastern U.S. has a lot of red. That means there's a pretty good chance we will eventually see those temperatures above average yet again. But the 10-day forecast, once the storms get out of here this weekend, pretty nice for September with those highs in the mid-80s and overnight lows in the low 60s.